John Doe is one of the most popular Roblox myths from late 2016 to early 2017. There are rumors of two accounts from the earliest time of Roblox's existence coming back after 11 years of offline slumber to wreck the platform by hacking everyone. In this video, I am explaining the Roblox accounts Jane and John Doe and what impact they made on Roblox. But before I continue, I would like to say that John Doe isn't a real hacker and is not something you should be afraid of. John and Jane Doe were made by Roblox as test accounts in 2005 but had gone offline on March 6, 2006. 11 years of platform building, even though John Doe was online last in 2006, he still had gotten 2012 eggs from the 2012 egg hunt. Around 2012 and 2013, there was an exploit where you could award badges from games to whatever account you wanted. A Roblox developer named Maximum ADHD, formerly known as Clone Trooper 1019, he was the creator of games such as Funny 64 bit platformer, Stupid Nostalgia Zone, and more. He discovered this exploit and decided to award early accounts with badges from his spleef game to try and catch the Roblox staff team's attention and fix the bug. It was patched some time later, but all of this combined made the accounts very strange and mysterious, and rumors went around the accounts for years. In early 2017, John Doe had stopped accepting friend requests, but people like the community got into the friends list of John Doe by using an exploit where you could friend anyone without the other person accepting this. However, he fueled the rumors hugely by friending exploiters and going into weird games. Not too long after this, there were hundreds of videos made by YouTubers about John Doe messaging them or John Doe hacking them or just trying to scare people with these videos that were made by people such as Think Noodles, Rage Elixir, and Dan TDM, saying that John Doe was going to come back on March 18, 2017, and anyone who had logged in that day would be hacked and have their account stolen. So the date came to March 18th, 2017, and nothing happened. Roblox even had to put out a blog post addressing the true origin of the account and how they were, the, uh, they were only test accounts. That was the story of John and Jane Doe. It's been seven years since the incident. You should comment what you think. And as always, thanks for watching and like and subscribe for more.